Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Silk and I'm here in Grenoble, France as part of the REACT program with the University of Pennsylvania. I just finished the first year of my master's degree in sustainable engineering at Villanova University and I'm here working at the LMGP lab under the supervision of Dr. David Riaceto and Dr. Damien Everard. My main research interest is studying how, as engineers, we can develop new technology in order to adapt to climate change's impact on drinking water availability in developing communities. Desalination is a really promising climate solution because seawater is essentially infinite. The problem with the current desalination process using reverse osmosis is that it's incredibly energy intensive and the membrane has to be replaced really often, making it a not very environmentally sustainable option. Here in Grenoble, I'm studying the synthesis of Janus membranes with the aim of making a more efficient desalination process to make seawater suitable for human consumption. The membranes being developed here at LMGP are inorganic in nature and are synthesized using zinc oxide nanowires. Janus membranes work by having two faces with opposite surface properties. One side of the membrane is made using zinc oxide nanowires that have been treated with a hydrocarbon to become super hydrophobic, and one side is made using nanowires that are left naturally hydrophilic. This difference in wettability facilitates a unidirectional movement of water from the hydrophobic side to the hydrophilic side, but water cannot pass in the other direction. There are several advantages to using these inorganic Janus membranes for desalination as opposed to traditional reverse osmosis desalination membranes. First, these membranes are extremely efficient with a salt rejection rate of almost 100%. They also have increased resistance to fouling and aging, resulting in fewer replacements necessary over the lifetime of the system. And lastly, these membranes work at atmospheric pressure, so there is not the large energy consumption for the high pressure pump that we see with traditional reverse osmosis. I'm so excited to be a part of this research team here at LMGP and get to see how the development of these revolutionary membranes progresses.